Hi guys and welcome back to another texture pack update video. So <laughs> it looks like there's quite a lot added and in a way there is um, but they're mainly minor changes and things like that. Variation blocks, uh, well, loads of variation blocks actually. Um, but kind of still quite useful for you guys that have got you know Optifine and, and also World Edit. So for to see all of these ones you will need obviously Optifine MC Patcher, the Connected Textures mod one of those, I recommend Optifine, it'll make your system run faster as well. It'll give you all these connected blocks. If you don't have Optifine, this is literally what you will get uh, wherever the hell it is. If I can find it, there we go, into here, you'll, you'll get that. Yeah, so, you know, it looks okay, but it doesn't look... Oh, actually, even the iron bars just disappeared. But yeah, it, it looks okay, but, you know, you don't get all the extended stuff uh, that you do if you have Connected Textures mod. Um, so I have added quite a few extra blocks into the pack. Um, like I said last time, I was going to move... Uh, there's cobblestone uh, metadata that I actually have over... that were in, inside this one here, which were inside the cobblestone. I've moved all of those into the mossy cobblestone. That's what I'm going to use the mossy cobblestone slot for, this older type of kind of stone. Um, so apologies if you have been using those ones. If not then it's not too bad, you can just, you know, use these ones in this place, and this is how they're going to be, and they're just going to extend, and I'll probably actually fill up all the way up to the metadata 15 uh, for next time, I think. Uh, that's what I'm going to be trying to do, or I might leave a couple free for later, I'm not really too sure, but first one you got is 48 colon 0, 48 colon 1, 48 colon 2, 48 colon 3, 48 colon 4, 48 colon 5, and 48 colon 6. This is actually my favourite one, the white one. Uh, I think that one works really nicely and can be used for, for the older style houses. Um, <laughs> basketball hoop. We have now got a basketball hoop as well in the texture pack. Uh, and I'll show you the examples of the sports things. I've added two kind of sports type things in this one. Uh, what this is, is a cobweb. Uh, the reason I use cobweb is when you throw into it, uh, it, it drops. So it kind of makes sense or it freaks out a bit first. Uh, and if you get it and higher, it takes ages to go through the whole cobweb. So it kind of made sense. I kind of needed something there, so I textured this uh, quite nice little hoop. I, I think it kind of looks good. But this is 30 colon 11. So that's how you'll be able to get that one there. 30 colon 11. Pretty cool. Uh, can be used as well, and I'll, I'll show you these. Um, another one, we have another iron bars thing. This is actually a kind of netting. Uh, somebody asked for the kind of netting on the side of ships that you sometimes get. Um, and this is kind of what I, I came up with. I took the other iron, iron kind of chain link, made it white, and gave it a kind of border. This border here at the minute doesn't really fit, uh, so I will be editing it, but this is what it will be. And this one is, and I'm pretty sure I know what it is off the top of my head, uh, 101 and 7 I believe it is. There we go, 7. So yeah, that's the one. Um, so 101 colon 7. We'll give you the kind of netting type thing. Uh, I've used it for a tennis net as well. Over there you can see that it kind of works. Um, and I'll show you guys that in detail. Um, so that kind of works quite well. So if we have a look at the actual ba basketball court. There we go. That's what I've got. Kind of looks pretty good uh, with those. Uh, and I've got a tutorial coming up for this basketball court. Before you guys ask me about it. Um, and then we've got the little tennis court over here. And, and now you can actually see, I guess, why I used grass and podzol. And did a darker one. Still need to figure them out, but but that's going to be going to be the kind of colours. They always have a little deeper one, um, but it really works with this. I think looks quite nice. So a little tennis court, quite cool. Again, there'll be a tutorial for that coming out. Uh, almost forgot about this. Good God, um, I fixed the box junction texture. So that one was uh, it was a little bit bugged. I think um, I've now fixed it, and it looks a bit too clean now. It's really odd. Um, so that one is four colon four. And yeah, that's the one that connects. So now it's all it's all really nice and and perfect, really. Uh, so it doesn't have that weird line that it did before. But now it just looks I don't know it's something weird about it. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, we've got that one there. That one's been fixed. Uh, it took a little bit of a while to fix. Um, another one of the major changes: the woods. Um, I've I've extended them. I've extended the actual blocks of them. Um, I've got ideas for them for future as well, which I'll talk about. Uh, basically these have now got nine textures each makes the floor look a lot more interesting a lot nicer so we have got the birch one done uh, the spruce I need to mess around there's this weird line going for it no idea why shouldn't have that so I need to 
Let's check that out. Why is it not on this one then? I'm not really too sure. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four. I'm just wondering where it is. Yeah, there is a line in it. Okay. I had to just check to find out where that is. That'll probably be the next update after this one that um this will be fixed. Uh, and also the oak wood texture. So I've also changed the oak wood texture a little bit. I've just messed around with the colours. I think it looks a little bit better. Um, it's a little bit more orangey. I don't know. Before it was this weird pale. I'm still not 100% sure about it. So I need to I need to have a play around with it really. Um, but it's getting there. <laughs> oak wood is really weird because you don't want it to be as strong as this one. You don't want it to be as light as that one. You want it to be in between but still work. Um, I still have the other two woods. Obviously... My uh, jungle wood is this weird, uh, you know, like cage type thing. Um, so that one won't have any of those, but I've got the acacia to do, and I've also got the duck, duck oak, and I'll probably change, just tweak each of these textures first, then kind of make it a bit bigger. Um, but tell me what you think of the new-ish oak. It is the same texture, uh, obviously it's extended as well, but it is, it's just been darkened a little bit. I think I've still got a little bit more work to do on it, and I think I'm going to be doing a lot of work on it, or possibly uh, getting a new texture. I'm not too sure yet. Uh, so we've now got those in. Now, what the hell is this long run of blocks that have been added? Um, <laughs> I've been building the suburbs houses now, uh, and I was looking at textures for them, and I decided I'm going to use the lapis block. So the lapis lazuli block is is going to be for those kind of houses and also the older ones and I decided to fill all of the metadata because why not uh, the, what I wanted to go for with these textures uh, is to go for a dual purpose that they can be used for kind of tiling slate wall type things that also look like brick that type of brick uh, but also to be able to use for roofs and stuff like that so you can actually you know use this as a roof tile which is quite nice that would work so I, I've tried to dual them in that way. Some of them just won't work that way, but most of them will. Uh, so let's go through them. So we've got 220, which is blue. 221 is a green variant. Uh, and all the signs have now weirdly disappeared. But 222 is red. 223 is a greyish one. 224 is a red brick. 225 is a blue brick. 226 is this kind of shale. 227, lighter one. 22.8 is a grey one, 22.9 is this kind of uh, skin type texture, I don't know what this, I don't know what you call that one, <laughs> I have no idea. 22.10, lighter one, and now the signs have appeared again. Uh, 22.11 is this kind of metallic brick, uh, kind of quite light, small bricks instead. And we've got 22.12, this is actually a kind of wallpaper that's been ripped apart, kind of looks quite cool, nice amount of variation. 22.13, which will give you the yellow. 22. 14, which is this roof. This one's definitely a roof tile, uh, rather than anything else, like a red one. And 2215, which is a darker roof tile. So, if I just fly through these again, there we go, you can have a look at those. There's a lot of variation. Um, oh, I almost forgot about this, yeah. Uh, every pack I'm deciding to uh, extend one of the wall textures, because I've got lots to do. I might just do a lump lump amount of them, but I'm trying to at least add one of these extended ones. I've still got loads of these to do. There's 16 of them and they're all quite big so yeah that's pretty much it for those ones if I just show you an example if we jump into this this world here on my tutorial world weirdly enough here we go oh, I'm actually inside one um, is there a way out? nope uh, but you can already actually see the floor at least uh, I'm going to turn on shaders because it does look pretty epic in shaders actually there we go so there we go that looks a lot better I think I think that looks really cool um, I think it works a bit better. I don't know. It it looks more like a floor. I'm really happy with the birch. I really like the birch one. Uh, you can also see this the, the kind of lapis one. I actually used the, the skin pinky color one uh, for this building, uh, which is one I'm messing around with. It's not finished at all, as you can see. I'm still playing around with it, but at least you get to see it. Um, there we go. Quite nice. So it turns out really, really nice. Um, adds a bit of variation. I need to change these. Obviously, the dark one that I've used for the roof on this. Uh, that needs to be edited, but you know those textures work. Uh, it's all also all done into cobblestone wall variants and um, uh, the fences. Any texture that I've used there, all the wood ones I've put in, I've kind of added into that. Uh, here's another one. There we go. That's just using the default lapis. Uh, that looks pretty cool. Uh, I don't think there's really many other ones. That gives you a sneak peek at least at some of these suburb houses as well. 
Uh, I think they're coming along pretty well. I'm just trying to get different sizes at the minute, as you can see. Um, but there you go. There's the spruce wood, uh, which will have the line in it. And I need to figure it out. I'll figure it out um, as a fix next next update. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the texture pack update. Um, still got loads and loads of stuff that you guys have requested that I need to start texturing. Um, I just needed to get some kind of textures I can use for houses, and I think they've turned out really, really awesome. I think they, I think they work really nice to get kind of different styles, uh, but also different ages. Uh, this one looks older than that one, for example. It just does. Um, I think it's the main texture in there. Or maybe it's a star, I don't know. <laughs> maybe it's a mix of both. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this texture pack update as well. And uh, make sure you subscribe for more of these updates. And, and comment if you want something added into the pack. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.